Okay, so, welcome to Schlem and the Beat. Uh, today we'll be talking about the bar effect. We're just talking about bars, and I got a special guest with us today. Here we have uh, Darren Wilson. Darren Wilson. Darren Wilson. Darren Wilson. Darren Wilson. And the Beat. And the Beat. And the Schlem and the Beat. And the Schlem and the Beat. And the Schlem and the Beat. And the and the beat. There we go. Was it on this whole time? I don't know if it wasn't on the whole time or if it just shut off. But we'll be good. And I'll look it say up. That, say that whole progression. That shit tough. I'm so ahead of my time. Even when I think about the future, I'll be reminiscing. But you gotta get the it's in part. Yeah. Hello. Uh, I bet you're wondering what's going on right now. Uh, just the crazy video things that were going on before. And while I was experiencing some technical difficulties because my camera didn't record half the interview that I conducted with my lovely guest. But, fortunately, I'm here to tell you some stuff that you need to know. Uh, I'm just going to fill you in quickly on what a bar is because that's mainly what we lost in the uh, other footage. A bar is in a rap song and it's really just whenever the artist finishes their rhyme. Um, but they're really complex and... It's, sometimes they don't even rhyme and it can still be a bar and there's like a lot of technical definitions but for the beginners the scenario would be like you know I jumped on the I jumped on the cat the cat was mad gave me a bat or hit me with a bat and I was sad something like that um, but yeah so that's a bar and then following this there will just be a really casual conversation between me and Dee just talking about what we think about bars, what we consider bars, and just whatever came to our mind. So, enjoy. Okay, give it some time. I try to emphasize to people that just like don't get hip hop that there's like so much being said and there's so much going on. Yeah, like like Two Chains pointed out, like you could think like the stupidest bar he said, you think it's stupid, but just because it's simple, like doesn't mean he's not saying a lot. You're gonna put two weeks to work on that. Or not even two weeks, just like, because just the Whatever. thought process, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just the, the depth of it. Like, it's, you could say a lot within five, six words, you exactly. know? Exactly. Like, yeah, it's just, and I think the bar the bar is just the meat of, of the rap song. It's just like, contains what they're trying to say, it contains the message, it contains the tone, it contains just all these things that make an artist I, and all these things. That I also rap. feel like bars could, uh, attribute to quality like if an artist has like really good songs consistently like he's known for having bars you know yeah. what I'm saying like, so I think it's more than like just the substance you know what I'm saying like it's like a reputation yeah kind of, yeah like, yeah definitely like as in bars the, the term bars can be used as different forms of speech like yeah definitely because you have yeah you have your straight up bar that it is what is a bar, it now yeah like the bar that is in the rap song there's bars like yeah, that man's got bars. Yeah. Like, that girl's got bars. I mean, like, te yeah, technically, like that, or you can say like barring, or you know, it's just, there's a lot of different ways to, yeah. to go about that. I'm really rapping, no finger snapping, no pistol packing. Y'all niggas slipping, my swag is dripping, so here's a napkin. What's your favorite? I don't know if you even have a favorite, but like, what are some of your favorite ways to hear a bar? You know, like what's um, what really I like, resonates? I like bars that sneak up on you. Like when the song sound like it's uh, mellowing out, just getting real dull. And like, if it's like a fast rapper, he start to slow up. Mm -hmm. like I know Wayne does it a lot. But then like, he just drops some crazy knowledge like out of nowhere, and then the beat pick back up. Cause now you are ready to hear what, yeah. whatever's next. Like, and yeah. it, it sneak up on you. Like, you he didn't expect that. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> Kills are flapping. I bit some matches, then sip some gas, and went kiss the dragon. Oh, really? Yeah. What did you just say? Like, <laughs> did I hear that correctly? Like, <laughs> I like the, uh, um, I think, uh, you know, you know Vice City, right? Mm -hmm. J, uh, J Rock, and it's just like every, every single like guy in that song just has that flow where it's, they spit a couple words and then they take that pause and they finish finish that statement. So it's like uh, I think it's <coughs> absolutely like every time I'm out in Brooklyn, I fuck with the whole squad. Had a real thick bitch named Brooklyn. She fucked the whole squad. Now every time I land in Brooklyn, they fuck with the whole squad. You know, mm. It's just like, and you sit there and you're like, oh, what are they gonna say? What's next? What's next? <laughs> or like, there's a lot of bars that are like too complex for like you to even comprehend. Like, I get it a lot when I listen to Cannabis mm -hmm. or like Immortal Technique. Like, they they said so much, like so eloquently that like you really can't follow. You know, you can mm -hmm. rewind it 10, 20 times and still like, oh, wow, like you, you can't catch the yeah. gravity of like how much thought went into that one phrase. Like, 
and I think it's a real powerful way of, like not only telling stories but like telling experiences you know because a lot of people like the only outlet they really have is music you know? yeah like, especially like in a, a patriarchal society that you know teaches people to oppress like feelings and whatnot mm -hmm. I feel like if you could get it out in your music so like people probably say things on the track that they didn't even intend to mean you know like it just yeah. came out like yeah, I definitely feel that, like, I mean, definitely, like, not not to the same magnitude or anything, but, like, even when we freestyle and stuff, it's just, like, I know there were a couple times last night where, like... The groove just was there, yeah, like, you, you didn't know how you was doing it, but and it was coming out. Yeah, yeah, and after the verse, someone points out a bar that you said, and you're just like, oh, there's, like, there's a double <laughs> on top of there that I didn't even, like, yeah. realize was hiding out in the shadows. Yeah, I mean, and along with the bar, the double entendre, which is something that I, like, I always feel dumb when it comes to rapping double entendres, because, you know, like, you know, it's like, you pick up one, and a double entendre for the audience is whenever a rapper says something, whenever a rapper says something, <laughs> that, uh, um, like, it, it might sound simple, it might not sound simple, but it just, like, it means two things, I, or more, or, you know, or triple entendre, triple entendre, yeah, entendre. Exactly. squibbity bit bit boom, hello again. I was very unclear right there about what a double entendre was. So I'm going to try to clear that up with the Kanye West thing that I'm about to play. But it's, yeah, it's really just when someone says a bar and the bar means one thing, like, and there's really obvious meaning. Um, and then it could just mean a couple things. For instance, with this Kanye bar, he says, too many Urkels on your team, that's why your wins low. Um, wins are low, because you got a dork on your team. Or, Urkels, wins low. Show reference. There we go. Double entendres. Fresh air, rolling down the window. Too many Urkels on your team, that's why your wins low. It's, yeah, it's, you just, you can break, it's, it's word manipulation, and it's just like, it's just flipping the script on everything that's like not in rap you know it's just any anything can go in rap and i think that's like, that's what i really love about bars so much it's just like slam around to the extreme yeah exactly you know, like, two, two things to talk about in his interview yesterday like, was sweating yeah like, how did you just rhyme that with that like, <laughs> you know, like hospital or restaurant or something like, <laughs> it wasn't that extreme but it was something that didn't rock but it works and, you, and it just like and it, it sounded good it's so seamless in the song and like i don't know you can just see where they're coming from when they yeah. present it um, let's see, what else do we got on the agenda? Um, bars. I guess we just need some filler stuff. And then we'll hop onto a conversation about bars, and then we'll segue that conversation about bars to be like, oh, we're going to spit some bars now. Okay. And then we'll call it a, and then I think that's good. But, uh, dogs got bars. So once again, I had some technical difficulties here, and most of the stuff that I just said, we were not able to capture on video. And the